Our featured speaker is America's favorite eye doctor. Please welcome Dr. Ed Condrat. What a privilege to be here at West Point and share the stage with Buzz Aldrin and Lieutenant General Honore. When I was an eye surgeon, there wasn't one eye disease that I couldn't surgically correct. There wasn't one traumatized eye that I could not put back together again. I can remember a patient, sharp glass, amputated both his eyes, going through the windshield of a car. He was in the hospital. They wanted to remove the eye remnants and give him glass eyes. I said no. I went into the hospital after a 13-hour operation using my surgical skill. The eye was back together again and he could see. I, I was on top. I was on top of my surgical career. Then, adult onset asthma struck me. I almost died on three occasions. I can remember one evening lying on the living room floor, trying to breathe, like breathing through this small straw. <sighs> but that was nothing compared to the tremors that I developed from the asthma medication. I was in despair. I was no longer that great eye surgeon. But the asthma turned out to be the greatest gift in my life. I sought all the top medical experts for a cure. Traditional Western medicine let me down. Then, a controversial homeopathic remedy cured me of my asthma. And that opened my mind to alternative treatments. The first lesson empowered me to think outside the box, not to be limited by my medical education. I began using these homeopathic remedies to treat eye diseases that could not benefit from surgery previously. I discovered microcurrent stimulation to reverse macular degeneration, light therapy to help people blind with glaucoma. The second lesson I learned is don't be afraid to take risks, even though your colleagues will treat you like a pariah. They, they laughed at me. <laughs> Dr. Condra using homeopathy and microcurrent. They laughed at me. But it was my relentless pursuit of the truth that led me to receive the Lifetime Achievement Award in ophthalmology and to be featured on the cover of Ophthalmology Times. Right. My third. The third lesson that I learned is don't depend on a major research grant or university to achieve greatness. Who am I to make a medical discovery? In the history of medicine, it was individual doctors making an observation that led to great medical discoveries. And I'd like to review a couple of them with you. In 1754, James Lynn observed that citrus fruits could cure scurvy. He was ridiculed and mocked. It wasn't until 100 years later that vitamin C was discovered and confirmed his observation. In 1864, Ignace Semmelweis proposed hand washing to treat major hospital infections. He was ridiculed. He even lost his hospital privileges. In 1950, a gentleman observed that EDTA, treating heavy metals, could reverse heart disease. 57 years later, a national study was done to confirm his results. In 1967, Dr. Charles Kelman observed on his own, he developed an instrument called phaco emulsification to treat cataracts. He was ridiculed. But now every surgeon is using that technique in their practice. Recently, Dr. Robert Rowan, uh, treated five Ebola cases, five Ebola cases with intravenous ozone and cured them, but his work goes unrecognized. So I say to all of you, if you're suffering from vision loss and your eye doctor has told you nothing can be done, I want to help you. 
and I will do everything I can to reverse your vision loss. You can go to chondrot.com, K-O-N-D-R-O-T.com. And if you're a medical doctor and you want to practice differently, go to practicefreedom.com. And I say to you, think outside the box. Take risks. And believe in yourself. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> wow! Look at that. Take it in. Take it in. Yeah! Great job. Thank you. Wow.